So you're looking to buy a house? Whether it's your first home or your right sizing, this is an exciting time. You know, you may be dreaming about how this will be great for your family, for your future. Maybe not so great for your bank account. <laughs> Everyone has a wish list when they start shopping. But do you really know what to look for when buying a house? Or what priorities should rank higher than others? Well, that's what we're discussing today. Because missing out on some critical steps on your way to your dream home could cost you in time, money, and ultimately missing out on finding the right house for you. So let's dive right in. Step number one, what is your budget? Do you even know? You know, before you start dreaming about those bedrooms, bathrooms, the great backyard you want, you need to understand your budget. It's such a heartbreak to set your sights on a wonderful home only to find out it doesn't fit in your budget. So whether you're three months out or six months out, now is the time to get pre-approved with a lender. The lender will look at your financials, your income, credit, and debt, and help you determine how much house you can afford and what kind of house payment you feel comfortable with. This will be a critical first step that will come in handy later for a variety of reasons. For one, being pre-approved allows you to crunch the numbers and see what you can afford and what you want to pay. They will also give you a pre-approval letter showing how much you're approved to borrow, which will give you the edge when it comes time to make your offer, since you will look like a serious buyer to the seller. Step number two, location, location, location. You know, I haven't met a buyer yet who didn't start our buying conversation with where they wanted to live. This is usually the single most important decision when buying a home. There's a lot of things you can change about your house, but moving it isn't one of them. So whether you need to be close to work or schools or parks or close to trails or transportation or even neighborhood amenities, you have to take all of that into consideration as you choose your location. And a good realtor can help show you neighborhoods that will match your list of considerations as well as educate you about the pros and cons of how those areas will be for your lifestyle. Step number three, price. Well, obviously, you need to choose a home within your price range. And now that you know your budget, you can calculate your monthly mortgage payment, that one that you're comfortable with. That's why for most buyers, the home's list price can be a serious consideration. And in our current shifting market, a good realtor can help your search efforts by making sure that the homes you see are not only within your budget's range, but also help you negotiate terms that are favorable to you. Step number four, home style and size. Now here you want to be looking at the layout and square footage as it relates to your lifestyle. You know, if you're right sizing, is there enough room for the furniture you have? Is there enough room so you don't be tripping over the dog every time you turn around? See my Moving with Fido video for more details on that. You know, your needs change as your family grows or as you age, so consider long and short-term size needs. Also think about whether you want everything on one level, a split level, a basement, or even if you want low maintenance where, say, the HOA takes care of some or all of the exterior, like a townhome, a condo, or even a patio home versus a house. Step number five, home amenities. Now, if you spent any time watching HGTV, you know there's a lot of changes you can make yourself to a house once it's your home. However, you might want to consider items that would be harder for you to add after you purchase. Like, do you want a garage? How big? Do you want a deck? Do you want a lush backyard or xeriscaping? A finished basement or an unfinished one that needs your creativity? Things like flooring and paint and appliances, bathroom fixtures, light fixtures, are all things that can be moved to the bottom of your wish list since these things you can change to replace once you own the house. Oh, by the way, my name is Peggy Durstoff and I'm a realtor with HomeSmart here in the Denver metro area and I specialize in suburban living. And those are the top five things out of eight to look for when buying a house. For my cheat sheet of the eight most important things to look for when buying a house, simply go to the description box down below and download your free copy. What else do you look for when you're shopping for a new home? Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to see your ideas. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.